Okay. Hi, I'm Chris Moore. Welcome to uh, CNE Drama's production of Oklahoma. Uh, a couple things real quick before we get started. Uh, emergency exits are in the back, and there's also some up through the theater in case there's an emergency. Um, if you're visiting Miss Gina's chuck wagon out there at intermission, uh, please keep all food and beverage outside the auditorium. Uh, there is some weapons in the show, so uh, don't be surprised when that happens. Uh, we hope you enjoy the show. Thanks. Thank you. 
time cats and dogs will dance in the heather. Birds and frogs will sing all together in the dark. So hop, I'll ring no whistle as we rattle along. Cows will moo in the clover. The river will ripple on a whispered song and whisper it over. Gotta get over eight wins. 
But Paul said if I was ever worth $50, I'd have her. $50? That's what they give you for prize money? That's what? Lands. If Andy's Paul keeps his promise, we'll be dancing at your wedding. <laughs> and if you don't keep her, keep, keep his promise, I'll take her from right under his nose. And I won't give him the present I've wrong for him. Come over here, fellas. Look what I got for Ada Wayne's Paul. Excuse me, Sam.
Burrito Annie's. I got $50. Well, boys, we're well, get going. Thanks for the load of the wagon, Alan. Going with Burley? I'll catch up with you, fellas. Listen, Eller, I gotta know something. Who's the low, filthy sneak? The Lord's got a cap set for you. Well, never mind that. There must be plenty of men to try to spark her. And she surely leads the one of them, now, don't she? Well, there is that fine farmer, Jace Hutchins, just this side of Long Ellen. <laughs> oh, and then, of course, there's that old widow man up in Claremore. Makes out he's a doctor or a veterinary. That's what I thought. Hello, Judge. Hello yourself. And then, of course, there's someone much nearer home that's got her on his mind most of the time. So he don't know why I'm from the machine. Uh -huh. Him? That bullet color growly man. Now don't you say nothing again him. He's the best hired hand I ever had. And he just about runs this farm by himself. Well, two women couldn't do it. You ought to know that. But Lord take up with a man like that? I ain't said she took up with him. But he's around all the time, ain't he? He lives here. Out in the smokehouse. Changed my mind about cleaning my head house today. I'm leaving that till tomorrow. I gotta quit early because I'm taking Lori over to the party tonight. Ooh. You dropped Lori? Yes, sir. Wouldn't that just make you fall? Don't forget, Aunt Ellen. You and me's got a date tonight. How we going, Curly? In that rig you made up? How right straddle and everybody to me like black and white. That there. Ain't no man free, you hear? I hired it over at Claremont. Lands, you did? Sure did. Real party one, too. Oh, well, I'm coming calling for you right after supper. City can get your beauty spots fast enough to you. See if I'll do some hockey here. Drive me to the box special. I got up sort of a tasty lunch. Get away in the car. Oh, 
Have you talked about that puzzle man? Mm -mm. Not yet. Well, ain't you promised to go, Parker? Not what you might say promise. I just told him maybe. Don't you like him no more? Of course I do. There will never be nobody like Will. Then what about this puppy? There will never be nobody <laughs> like him either. <laughs> <laughs> but which one do you like best? Whatever one I'm with. You very silly. Now, Lori, you know that nobody paid me no mind up to this year. Count of I was scrawny and flat as a beanpole. And I kind of ran it up a little. And now the boys act different to me. Well, what's wrong with that? Nothing's wrong with it. I like it. I like it so much when a fella talks pretty to me, I get all shaky from horn to hoof. Don't you? Can't think what you're talking about. <coughs> Don't you ever get sorry for a fella when he looks like he wants to kiss you? Well, you just he can't kiss any man that asks you. Didn't anybody ever tell you that? Yeah, they told me. <laughs>
work, I give you something just as good. Just as good? It's got to be a thousand million times better. My, oh my, Miss Lori. The crickets, how high you have grown up. When I last come through here, you was tiny, like a shrimp with freckles. Now look at you, a great big beautiful lady. Oh, put it about me. Hey, you had your breakfast, go and eat yourself a green apple. Now, Aunt Eller, just listen. Hold on, you. Don't you call me Aunt Eller. I ain't your Aunt Eller, you little wart. I'm mad at you. <laughs> <coughs> now, don't go and be mad at me. Ain't I said I'd give you a present? Something to wear? Well, if you got things to wear, I wouldn't have it. What is it? Real silk, made in Persia. I want what I want with some old Persian garbage. Oh, they look awful pretty, you know, like with bows on them and all. All right, I'll try them on. Hold out your foot. Hotel. What's at the hotel? At the hotel, 
is a veranda. Inside the hotel is a lobby. And upstairs? Upstairs might be paradise. I thought they were just bedrooms. <laughs> thought you would be, baby? Paradise. You see, I knew I was right and Laura is wrong. You do want to marry me, don't uh, you? Wait, no, wait, 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 what did you say? I said you do want to marry me, don't you? What did you say? I did not say that. Who's <laughs> the <laughs> You who a wedding, I'm back. Oh, foot. Just one. Well, well, that's what Parker promised me you won't fight him. Fight? Why fight? I never met the man before in my life. I only fight with my friends. Hey, lady! How's my honey bunch? How's the sweetest one in ten pounds of sugar in the territory? Uh, well, this is Ali Hakim. Hi, Hack. Don't mind the way I talk. Saw rap. <laughs> we'll marry her. Marry her? On purpose? Well, sure. You're <laughs> such a good thing. It's a wonderful thing to be Ali! See, I got a brother, Dougie Berta. He's got six wives. Six wives? All at once? Well, sure. That's the way to do it in countries. Not always. I got another brother back in Perna. He's only got one way. He's a bachelor. <laughs> Look, Will. Look, Will, nothing. You know what I got for the first prize of the fair? Fifty dollars. Well, that's good. Fifty dollars? Catch on. Your pa promised I could marry you if I could get fifty dollars. That's right, he did. You know what I've done with it? Spend it all on presents for you. But if you spend it, you ain't got the cash. When I got to work more than cash, tell her so many stuff told me. Oh, well. Stop saying, don't oh, well. And the man, he it off my mind since I left. Even at the fairgrounds, chasing steers. I broke one of the hooves, and I pulled him up sharp. And he landed on his little rope. And I thank you. Don't start talking pretty, Will. <laughs> see a lot of beautiful guys in Kansas City. Didn't give one a look. How could you see him if you didn't give him a look? I mean, I didn't look loving at him like I look at you. Don't look like that, Will. I can't bear it. What would like to stop looking like this to give me a little kiss? It's only a little kiss. No. 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 I won't. You gotta say that your lips are like cherries, or roses or berries. What you gonna do? Can't you feel the more palpitating and a little Awaiting for something, something nice from you. Gotta get a kiss and it's gotta be quick. Oh, I'll jump in a creek and die. What's it gonna say when you talk that way? Oh, beautiful morning. Oh, what a
Oh, well, he ain't it wonderful. Paul making up our mind for us and all, and he won't change neither. Once he gives you his word that you can have him, why, you got me. I know I got you. Those are not 
Is that Judd Feller? Reckon so. Why? Oh, nothing. It's just that everybody seems to expect me to take you. Well, maybe it's just why you ain't. We don't want people talking about us, do we? Do you think people do talk about us? Oh, you know how they are. Like swarming mud wasps. Always gotta be buzzing about something. Well, what are they saying? That you're stuck on me? Uh-uh. Most of the talk is that you're stuck on me. Can't imagine how these ugly rumors start. Me neither.
Open it, can't you? Howdy. What do you want? I think I threw my business up there at the house. Just thought I'd pay your call. You got a gun, I see. Good. Colt 45. What'd you do with it? Shoot things. No. Say, that there pink picture. That's a naked woman, ain't it? Guys, don't lie to you. Love to start naked as a jaybird. Oh, wait. No? No, she ain't. Not quite. <laughs> got a couple of things I'm about to put on over there. Yes. Anything to what I got here. Look at that car, boy. Whew. I go blind. I'd give me ideas, that would. That's a danger, that is. Yeah, that sure is a danger. Say, that's a nice looking rope you got here. Spins nice. Hey, you know Will Parker? Well, he can sort of spin a rope. The strong looking hook you got up there, Jim. You can hang yourself on that. I can what? Uh, hang yourself. It'd be as easy as falling off a log. Or a chair if you'd rather. Stand right about here, see? Put this around your neck. I'm tied good up there first, of course. And all there'd be was to fall off a log. Or the chair. Whichever you'd rather fall off. <laughs> and in five minutes, or less than good luck, you'd be dead as a doornail. What do you mean by that? Uh, it invokes a coming funeral and sing sad songs. <laughs> oh, they would. You never know how many people like you till you're dead. Probably oh, all laid out in that parlor, tucked out in your best suit, hair combed down, slick and hot, starch collar. You need any flowers and things? Oh, that sure would. And bombs, too. All around your coffin. Men would bare their heads. Women that stiffle softly. Some of them probably faint. The ones that took a shine to you when you was alive. What woman took a shine to me? Oh, lots of women. Only well, they don't come right out and tell you. You must think you die first. Guess that's so. They sure would sing loud, though. When the singing started, it seemed like their hearts would break. Poor <laughs>
show me an interest in funeral. I need to miss it. Wouldn't like to miss it, huh? Maybe you will. Maybe you'll go first. Maybe. Well, let's see now. Where'd you work at before here? It was up at Cow Hall, wasn't it? Yes, before that, over by Tulsa. Lousy he was to me. Both of them. Always making out they was better. Treating me like dirt. So what'd you do? Get even? Who said anything about getting even? Uh, nobody that I recollect. Just came to my head. It was to get even with him, buddy. I know how to do it. That? No, no. There's safer ways to use your brain. Remember that fire over on the barn farm over by Sweetwater? I sure do. Verbal accident. About five years ago, wasn't it? Burn up the father, the mother, and the daughter. That was no accident. The fella told me. Hired hand was stuck on the parlor girl. He found her in a hayloft with another fella. It was him that burnt the place? Took him weeks to get all the kerosene, find it at different times. The guy who told me he made it out like it happened in Missouri. But I knew it all along it was the barn farm. <laughs> what a lie he was. And kind of a murderer, too, wasn't he? Let's get some air in here. You ain't yet told me what business you had here. There's no cattle to sell, and you're no cowboy. No problems done spoke for her. Surely my mind considered it. But there's one thing on this farm that you can want. It better not be that. That's just what it is. It better not be. You keep away from her, you hear? You know, somebody ought to tell the Lord what kind of man you were. Somebody ought to tell you once yourself. You better get out of here, Curly. The fellow wouldn't feel very safe in here, Jim. He didn't know you. I know you. In this country, there's two things you can do to use a man. Live outdoors is one, and live in a hole is the other. I step on my horse and brush, my rattlesnake, many a time. Rattle, rattle, rattle. He goes scared to death. Somebody getting close to his hole, somebody going to step on him. Get his old fangs really full of poison. Curl up and wait. As long as you live in a hole, you gotta have protection. You could have a soul like iron, still be as weak as an empty bladder. Plus, when you get things in the barb, you're hiding with them. How'd you get to be the way you wear, anyways? Sitting in this filthy place, thinking the way you're thinking. Why don't you go out and do something healthy once in a while? Say, shut up and hear a crawling in a bitch! Shut up! <laughs> you work here better now. Start on the roof, though. <clears throat> Wish you'd let me show you something. There's a knot all over there. As big as a dime. See the Lincoln? I just want to see if I can hit it. The night, I'll slick some whistle. Now touch it. I know that I can do it. Bill Barton, I forgot. Ah, ooh, ooh. I'm scared. Somebody's a throw at us next. Like that for? I don't know. Get a hog, or a skunk, 
It's all the same, ain't it? Tell you what I want more than a frog sticker. If you got one. You ever hear of the things you call the little wonder? So the little thing that you hold up to your eyes to see pictures? Only that ain't all that is to it. Not quite. See, it's got a little jigger on it. You touch it, and now the spring is a sharp blade. On a spring, huh? See, little fella? Look through this. And when he's looking, you snap out the blade, and just bump his chest. BAM! Down you come. Good joke to play on a friend. I, uh, don't like to handle them things like that. It's too dangerous. What I'd like to show you is my new stock of postcards. No wonder of them things. Sick of them. Want to give me a real one? What would you want a woman for? I'm having trouble right now. I'm not accountable woman. They always make trouble. You say you want one? Why? Look at you. You're a man which is free to come and go as you please. Got a nice, cozy little place. Private. These pictures won't talk back to you. I'm tired of these pictures of women. So you're tired of them. Throw away and buy some new ones. <laughs> See, you get tired of women, and what can you do? Just keep getting tired and tired. I made up my mind. So you want a woman. Say, do you happen to know Ado Andy? I don't want her. I don't want her either. But I got her. I don't want nothing from your peddler. I want real things. What am I doing in here, like that feller said, crawling in a festering? What am I doing in this lousy smoke house?
gotta be more for sale. Oh look, she bought an old smell salts that Heather tried to sell us. Oh! It ain't smelling salts. It's gonna make up my mind for me. Look at me take a good whiff of it now. <coughs> That's a camper. Please girls, go away. Hey Lori, is it true you're letting Judd take the night instead of Carly? Tell you better when I think things out clear. Can you see things clear already? I can tell you what you are.
Yum, yum. It's time for a tasty and refreshing snack. Promise to satisfy your hunger, your thirst, your sweet tooth. So visit our refreshment center now. Let's go!
the box social. Woo! 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 Gay post. Beautiful ankle brace. <laughs> Mighty dainty. Those were for her to wear. Didn't hardly think they was for you. <laughs> Give you fifteen dollars for it. So let's see. Eight and twenty-two equals thirty, and thirty and fifteen equals forty-five, and fifty cents equals forty-five fifty. Forty-five, fifty. Say, that's almost. Want to buy some more? You ever seen one of these? What made you buy this? You got it in for somebody? How do you mean? It's just funny pictures. <laughs> that's all you think it is. Well, it's more than that. It's a. Uh... Where is everybody? Where's the Ellen? On the other side of the house, Lori. Lori, where's the two? How much will you give me for this? I don't like to handle them things like that. I guess you don't really know what it is. Sure I do. It's just a girl with pink ties. Is it you juicy Lord? On the other side of the house, Judd. I'll just go up there. Say, Judd, here's what I'm thinking he was looking for. The little wonder. How much? Three fifty. A lot of money. <laughs> I got an idea. Like it worth it. Okay. Forty-five fifty from you, and three fifty from him. That makes fifty dollars, don't it? No, one dollar short. Darn. Must have figured it all. How much for the rest of the bag? One dollar. Done. See that? I got fifty dollars, ain't I? You know what that means? It means I'm gonna take eight away back from you. Say, you wouldn't do a thing like that to me. Well, wouldn't I? 
when I tell her Paul who I got most of the money off of, maybe he'll change his mind about who's smart and who's dumb. Say, young fella, you certainly bumped toward me. <coughs>
custard with raspberry syrup. <laughs> Am I gonna hear any more? No. Y'all drop down, can't you see? You got enough, man. Let's get on. Here's the money. Hold on, you ain't and gone, gone, gone yet. Say <laughs> Going to Judd Pratt for six dollars and two bits. It's going. Who did you say was getting more? Judd Pratt. And for how much? Six and a quarter. I don't figure that's quite enough. Do you? It's more than you got. Got a saddle here. Cost me $30. Can't bid saddles. It's gotta be cash. It's a $30 saddle. Must be worth something to somebody. I'll give you a 10. Boy, don't be stupid. You a saddle make a living. You got cash? Right my hand. Don't let's waste any time now. How high you going? How do you? No matter what. Hey, Nana, I'll bet all this $10 Tom just gave me. Ooh, going for $10, going, going! Going is two bits. Oh, Those of you boys know my horse, Dunn? She's, she's kind of a nice horse, I guess. Gentle, well broke. Don't so dumb, Curly. It ain't worth it. You need 25 for her. I said that to you. That makes me buy a bid. 35, I know. Curly, you're crazy. Uh, but it's all for the schoolhouse, ain't it? All for educating and learning. Going for 35 dollars. Oh, I ain't finished bidding yet. You just put up everything you had in the world, did you? Can't be the clothes on your back, this ain't worth nothing. Can't be the guns, you need that. Yes, sir, you need that bag. So, you know, I'm just as reckless as Curly McLean, I guess. Good as get what I want. I'm gonna bet all I have in the world. All I saved for two years doing farm work. Oh, the Lord. Here it is. Forty-two dollars and thirty-one cents. Anybody want to buy a gun? You joke. I bought this brand new last Thanksgiving. It's worth a lot. So that makes my bid. $53, ain't Ellen. Is anybody calling any heart? Going, going, going. <laughs> What's the matter? Ain't nobody got a cheer or nothing? The farmer and the cowman should be friends. Oh, the farmer and the cowman should be friends. Oh, the, the cowboy and the farmer should be friends. Now, you lost the bin, but the bin was fair. So, shake the farmer's hand. Sure, shake hands. No hard feelings, Curly. That's better. Say, Curly, I want to show you something. Excuse us, Lord. You ever seen one of these? Just what is that? Something special. You just hold it up to your eyes. See?
with Mellor's offer you a buggy ride. I'll give you an invitation of a crawfish and dig myself a hole where I can hide. I hear how you was kicking up some capers when I was off in Kansas City, though. I heard some things you couldn't print in papers from fellers that been talking like they know. But
shot that way by an old lady and didn't make him run away. What was your hurry? Try to be we late for the party. You want to be with me by yourself? Not a minute more than you had to. Tell me what you're talking about. Think you're by myself right now, Ella. Wouldn't have been. Could have gotten out of it. The morning you sit in your room all the time, night you sit in the front room. Won't get out of hand out of sight. Last time I see you alone is winter. So is six inches deep in drifts. When I was sick. You brought me that hot soup out to the smokehouse and gave it to me. Me in bed. I ain't shaved for two days. You asked me if I had a fever. Put your hand on my head to check. I remember. Do you? Bet you don't remember as much as me. I remember everything you ever said. Everything you ever done. Can't think of nothing else. You see? You see how it is? I ain't good enough, am I? I'm a hired man. Got dirt in my hand. Peg slot. I ain't fit to touch you. You're better. So much better. Well, we'll see who's better, Mr. Mori. Then you would wish you went some free with your hands. You're such a fine lady. You making threats to me? Are you standing there saying, if I'll allow you to slobber over me like a hog? Are you gonna do something about it? I ain't nothing but a mangy dog and somebody ought to shoot you. You think so much about being hired hand? Well, I'll tell you something that'll brush your brain, Mr. Judd. You ain't a hired hand for me no more. You just pack up your dust and skip. Oh, you've got better ideas than that. You need to come on this place and get you here. I'll send your stuff any place you say. But if you so much as sit a foot inside the passion gate, I'll send your dogs on to you. Send it, send it. Roll it on yourself. I can't help it. I told you the way it was and you wouldn't listen. Who's that? Oh, it's me, Lori. Have you seen Edna Wanny? She's, uh, of course she's gone. Well, could you do something for me? Could you go and find Curly and tell him I'm here? Gotta see Curly off the bed. Come see him. Why don't you turn around and look? You crazy woman. Curly! Well, you found yours. I gotta go hunt for mine. <laughs> and what on earth is ailing the Bella Claremore? Oh, God, you ain't crying. Curly, I'm afraid. Get him alive. I'm a Don't you leave me. Goodness. Don't worry, I'm crying. I can't help it. Cry your eyes out. I don't know what to do. Here. I'll show you. <laughs> That's about all a man can stand in public. Get away from me, you. Like you, get away from me! Plumb away, I say. Curly, you're sitting on the stove. Ah! It's as cold as a hunk of ice. Where you burn hole in your face? Oh, you do, do you? You heard me. Now look at here, Lori. I want you to stand right over there, right where you were, and I'll sit over here. Can you tell me what it is you wanted with me? Well, Judd was here. He scared me. He's crazy. I never saw him that like him before. He talked wild and he threatened me. So I fired him. Wish I hadn't a... There ain't no telling him to do now. Well, you fired him. That's all there is to it. Tomorrow, I'll get you a new hired hand. I'll even stay on the place myself tonight. You worried about that old hound dog. I'll quit you worrying about it or I'll spank you. Hey, um, while I'm thinking of it, um, well, how about marrying me? Gracious, what do I want to marry you for? Well, could you maybe think of some reason why you might? Can't think of none right now, hardly. <laughs> Lori, 
Please, ma'am, marry me. I just don't know what I'm going to do if you don't. Curly, I'll marry you if you want me to. Oh, I'll be the happiest man alive as soon as we're married. Oh, I got to learn to be a farmer. No, I see that. Quit thinking of throwing the rope. Started blistering my hands in a new way. Oh boy, things is changing right and left. <laughs> Buy mow machines. Cut down the prairie. Shoe your horses. Drag them plows out of the side. They gonna make a state out of this territory. They gonna put in the union. The country's a change, and you gotta change with it, I guess. Bring a pair of boys. New stock. Keep up the way things is going in this here crazy country. Now I got you to help me. You don't amount to something yet. Oh, I remember the first time I ever seen you. We was at the fair, and you was riding that gray filly of blue stars. I turned to a feller and says, Who is that skinny little thing with the bangs hanging down in her forehead? <laughs> I remember you was around the wrong that day. That's right. One of them just brought you up. You did not throw me. I guess it just jumped off. Yeah, sure, I jumped up. Sure did. Hey! Is anybody out around this yard that can hear my voice? Oh, I'd like for you to know that Laura Williams is my girl! Holy! And she went and got me to ask her to marry me! Now here you all went to the Let them. Let people say we're in love. Good to her, Will. 
and you'll be good to him. I hope you don't mind that I'm a friend of the family now. Mwah. 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 Yes, I must. Factory, open road. The poor gypsy. Friend of the family. Lucky fellow. Wish it was me there earlier instead of you. Don't seem to make no difference, hardly. <laughs> Well, time to go back to the open road. The poor gypsy. Ali!
thing too late. I got a present for the group. First, I want to get some bread. It's my present for you. Well, is Brian Drew ready? 
Here we come. 